Titania's mother was busy in the kitchen raising dough to make pies when the phone rang. So the twelve-year-old schoolgirl picked up the receiver. An unfamiliar male voice asked if there were any adults at home. I handed the phone to my elder brother. Titania says, and he was informed that Igor was dead. The next day, my parents were summoned to university, and the nightmare began. The student's trips was supposed to take three weeks. Igor, who was leading the trip, had promised to send a message to the sports club, and severed Losk as soon as his group were safely back at their base around 12 February. At first, nobody was surprised they didn't return on time. They had been delayed before because of the bad weather, but by 20 February. Their families became worried and raised the alarm. The university sent out a search party of student volunteers. Now in his 80s, Mikhail Sharavin was one of them. He was flown to the region by helicopter along with the other volunteers. They split into smaller groups and followed some ski tracks, which came to an end at the edge of the forest before climbing up the pass. Inside, he and other rescuer found a blanket and some rucksacks lined up neatly, and a pile of boots in one corner. There were also the route map, official papers, money, and a flask of alcohol. Next to that, he spotted a plateful of sallow white pork fat. It was then that he noticed the tent had been slashed open from the inside with a knife. Maybe there were a desperate hurry to get out. He thought, but why? Then he came across something even stranger. Just outside the tent, he saw frozen footprints made by eight of nine people who were wearing socks, a single boot, or were barefoot. The tracks continued for five to ten meters, and then they disappeared. Sharvin and his friends were dumbfounded. They wonder what on earth could have made the students leave their sh- shelter semi-clad when it was at least negative twenty degrees outside. They immediately skied downhill to tell the others in the search party what they had found. Later, when they sat around the campfire for their evening meal, Sharvin produced a flask of vodka that he found in the tent and proposed a toast to the health of. So that's all I got to read for all that, folks. All those people, those hikers, just die in the winter for somehow reason, but explains they escape out of the tents for some rush reasons. If it could be some reasons, if they heard something or they saw something around, if the they saw a light, if they had to get out so fast, if there's something chasing them, if it could be a bear or some other animals around, some dangerous animal around, but it couldn't be a Bigfoot, would it? I don't know. But until some other reasons, they were walking in footprints with no boots or anything, just socks or they're barefoot, which means they were in rush. When they cut out the tents, yeah, that was a big mistake because they need that tent for survival. So they、uh, tried to、uh, try to think of something until they were attacked or something had killed them. Some lose their tongues, eyes. For some reason, if it could be, I mean, it was taking place at night until they were dead. So probably some people were losing their minds and fight out each other, maybe because they're seeing things, hallucinating, or rather. It could be some type of creature just came out of nowhere. It couldn't be aliens. I mean, there wouldn't be a chance for anyone around the town nearby would have、uh, noticed some lights coming from the sky. So it couldn't be the aliens until we see this photo. That's the only photo that was taken by the hikers before their deaths. This unknown photo is very, very interesting. It could have been one of the hikers nearby just trying to test out their photos or something, but no, I believe it could be a creature, which it doesn't look like alien to me. I mean, the looks of it almost looks like a human size, but maybe not. Probably somewhere far away. It would be in Bigfoot. I mean, there are possibilities that Bigfoot was real. If it is, then that could be the creature that killed these hikers. But if not, what type of creature is this? If it could be just、uh, some type of caveman who survived this whole time and become like this, or rather, it's some random hiker who was、uh, starving and lost and became this cannibal who tried to find survival. But it couldn't be that easy for a cannibal like that killing all those survivors at a chance. 
So it had to be a creature instead. All right. If we go back to the history stuff, if we go to those years, like in the 60s, somewhere around those times, something like those wars, all those things that have been going on in that time. So that means there would have been uh, some experiments going on in that time with science nearby and underground or something that kind of use some nukes or something around the area until it was been spotted and somehow affects something that killed these hikers. Or they would have, or it would have been something about some of the mountain snow just piled up and fall down. But it couldn't be that. No, 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 it wouldn't. Because how could that be possible if it killed, uh, they would lose their eye through their tongue like that? It wouldn't work. So it had to be a creature, folks. But if it's not true, then what do you think? Could it be one of the survivors who, one of the hikers, could have just accidentally killed their friends or whatnot? Because they're losing their thoughts or their minds? Well, I think it's a creature because that photo is still a uh, being theory to this very day. So that's all I got for this, folks. I hope you enjoy it. And 2019, they were continuing if they are to this very day. But maybe not. But who knows, they might go back to that location to check things around. If they wouldn't know if there is some sort of creature around. Because the way they got out of their tents with their knife coming, cutting inside because they could have think they hear sounds coming nearby if it could be a creature so that's all i got i hope you enjoyed this folks which i already said that many times this is lord of flames here i'll see you guys next time bye folks have a wonderful day